few checks, this one is a checkmate. Two checks, this one is most logical, it goes here. And if we come back with the bishop, it is going to be just a repetition. But we have this check with the bishop. And when he takes, our queen can give a checkmate on h7. Check, check, checkmate. Black to move. So first thing we should be looking at is to get a new queen. Let's calculate it. Takes, takes, and then we quickly win this pawn. Rook h8 and win a pawn. We have this check, but he's going to escape, but then we have one more check, which wins the rook. Check, and take a rook. Few checks, this should be the best, because he has to go here, and then checkmate. So check, checkmate. So we have two checks, this is the most logical one, he has to take, then check again, he goes back, and checkmate on h8. So let's see. And checkmate next move. Here we have a check, but it doesn't work. We have this capture that does nothing. And last one, we have this attack, which threatens mate. Can he stop it? I don't think so. Bishop g3, he can sacrifice a rook, but then checkmate next move. We have two checks. This one is the most logical one. If he takes, we take, and we won at least a pawn. But if we take and he moves down, then our queen is hanging, and there is no squares available. For a queen to be in touch with this bishop. If we move our queen, we're gonna lose the bishop, in other words. So let's see it. Takes, takes. We have two checks to remove queen from the attack. Let's say we give this check. He goes here, the only move. And now queen is still hanging, and the bishop is hanging as well. We have this check, but doesn't do much. We have this capture, but we're gonna lose a queen. So what's left is attack. We have this attacking move. Threatening check. If he doesn't take, he's gonna lose a queen. And if he takes, it's going to be a checkmate. So let's see it. But now we just take and win a knight. This check looks like the most logical. And after king e7, the only move, we have d6, checkmate. We have checkmate in one. 